and the class license section to computer stuff. So this is uh, types of computers and I'm not going to read through all, all these notes, but I'll just pause for a second or two for you to have a go. Now, clock speed is the simplest measure of performance. This is just quite low. Now, as technology has improved, the type of computer produced has changed. Now, there are much more about these in the revision notes, but you have to be comfortable. But to summarise, you need to be familiar with the following types of computers. Embedded computers, laptops, desktops, main... Now on to the higher content. With the wide variety of PC components that you can put into a machine these days. Now clock speed is much simpler. The amount of operations that a computer can perform in one second. But again, as mentioned previously, you can only compare the clock Now MIPS, millions of instructions per second. What this does is another operation we have is floating point operations per second. These are pretty application-based tests. These are known as real-world tests. If you, for example, there are various benchmarking programs to measure the performance of almost every program. Moore's Law. In 1965, the co-founder Gordon Moore made a How do we increase performance? Well, you could make the data bus wider. It means a computer. Current trend performance, the race of clock speed is almost. So to summarize, ways to measure performance are clock speed, MIPS, clocks, applications.